hi friends welcome back to another video of a to z accounting pro so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, uae companies accounting uh, procedures uae accounting that is based on gap gap means uh, generally accepted accounting principles and uae laws explained uh, in detail for audit purposes and tax filing so first of all we are going to discuss uh, about the requirements okay first of all uh, if uh, we are uh, starting a company there will be a legal structure and um, as an accountant we need a, a chart of accounts then we know how to we want uh, we have to know how to create journal entries and uh, posting of the uh, those journal entries into ledgers and uh, in uae we need to close the books and accounts on a monthly basis that is monthly closing requirements uh, uh, i have uh, written here the major um, uh, requirements of a monthly closing bank reconciliation provisions inventory uh, uh, depreciation and uh, i have dropped one uh, accruals uh, inventory depreciation prepayments amortization fixed asset register and accruals and then uh, we'll move to financial uh, statements uh, uh, trial balance uh, p and l account balance sheet cash flows and statement of changes in equity these are the uh, major requirements for a company in uae uh, to maintain in a complete um, generally accepted accounting principles and as per ue laws so here uh first of all uh let us check about the legal stru structure of a company so uh what is a company a company means an artificial person having a corporate legal entity distinct from its members or shareholders so a company means uh it is a separate entity artificial entity okay uh it is um, uh distinct from its uh, um, owners or shareholders so whenever an accountant treats an entry he has to assume that uh, the company means it is not its owners company it has a separate legal entity so whenever we are making any transactions any general entities uh, this we need to keep in mind so here uh there are four shareholders in a company they have taken 25 percentage uh, each 250000 authorized and 125 paid up so this authorized means what whatever is mentioned as per uh, memorandum of association or articles okay and the paid up means what is actually paid by the shareholders now so uh, here the paid up capital is usd 500000 so start the business the shareholders of this company has invested 500000 which is 125k each okay so they are equally uh, contributed they have equally contributed uh, to start this uh, entity okay uh, now the second one that is legal structure now second one as an accountant to start the accounting process an accountant need chart of accounts chart of accounts means a series of accounts so let us say whatever accounts we need to create we are creating so that is a resemblance of the uh, chart of accounts uh, which includes all the accounts we have created okay this is an example of chart of account okay so uh here we have um, uh, all the uh, accounts mentioned in abc company limited okay first we have started with one all started with one and those are assets accounts first all our assets then <coughs> we are moving to liabilities then capital then revenue then comes expenses okay so here there are uh, primary groups and secondary groups are mentioned this is the account name okay petty cash and this primary group will be cash and bank balances 
secondary uh, group is cash on hand and this is because cash on hand because it is petty cash it is cash on hand so this is a bank account and it is cash in banks so this is secondary group but this is this is the primary group okay for all the cash cash and bank balances and uh, other accounts like pdc security checks trade receivable or mentioned trade receivable yeah trade and other receivables then inventories then uh, property plant and equipment ppe accounts all the assets and uh, the accumulated depreciation of those uh, assets will come here and then uh, uh, we have uh, prepaid accounts advances to suppliers prepaid uh, all the marketing uh, whatever uh, expenses we paid uh, or advances to suppliers and all those accounts will be mentioned uh, in groups here so this is assets here uh, we move to liabilities there are trade payable accounts and all other supplier accounts which we are buying on credits will come uh, under this category of liabilities yeah pdc issued uh, accrued expenses any accrued expenses like accrued salaries or uh, whatever all the expenses mentioned here here uh, we have mentioned uh, accumulated depreciation but actually in some companies uh, this will uh, go to property plant and equipment which is uh, same in the meaning because here if it uh, if the property plan uh, and equipment uh, here there will be plus so we will show down as minus okay negative balances in uh, uh, accumulated depreciation yeah because of the nature of the account it is uh, treated as liabilities here yeah so so the net of the uh, pp i mean uh, the per uh, asset accounts and the accumulated uh, depreciation accumulated depreciation will be the book value of the net assets that we will discuss later in detail okay i will let you know and uh, any any other provisions we have created uh, for paying in future and the inventories provisions inventories provisions will be uh, coming as liability and uh, bad debts provision yeah VAT accounts VAT receivables all payables <coughs> all will come here and then we'll uh, move to capital yeah capital um, of a b c and d for uh, capital for owners capital accounts are there and this is retained earnings which is also capital account because this is the net result of the net past result of the company so whether it is uh, accumulated profit or accumulated losses uh, whatever we can say but um, uh, generally here in UAE we call it as retained earnings and uh, then uh, there are revenue accounts okay sales account and other revenues whatever revenues we receive uh, from uh, from the business that will comes under revenue account and then uh, there is cost of sales yeah cost of sales uh, is the uh, uh, amount or cost we have uh, paid uh, for uh, producing uh, the product so it is an expense nature in nature so that is comes under expenses and all other salaries vacation pays uh, end of service staff bonus so this is a general view of the uh, chart of account just uh, for uh, quickly uh, understanding uh, purposes okay so that is the one then the f first one we have discussed legal structure chart of accounts and the third one general entries creation so now uh, we'll move to general entries how uh, we can uh, start posting general entries in the books so for that purpose uh, all of you uh, know that the golden rule of accounting there are personal real nominal all these theories we have already studied but we have uh, uh, created a shortcut to understand easily and uh, quickly uh, i have discussed this one in my earlier videos also so any plus in assets or expenses will be debited plus means increase right any increase in assets or expenses will be debited and any increase in liabilities and revenue will be credited to those concerned accounts so uh, just remember this assets and expenses increase debit liabilities and revenue increase credit so in the opposite assets and expenses if it is decreasing 
instead of increasing if it is decreasing automatically it will credit right and liabilities and revenue if it is decreasing automatically it will debit yeah vice versa so uh, that is the uh, shortcut so if you remember only this you can create you can uh, create any journal entries yeah keep in mind uh, the legal structure that uh, uh, it is a corporate legal entity so you need to think uh, like that way very simple it's really uh, you know you can do it uh, within seconds any any entry so let us uh, uh, try an example uh, here so I have uh, I'm uh, going to explain the first general entry for you here okay the uh, shareholders the four shareholders a b and c and d uh, invested capital amounting to 500k uh, to start the business okay so what will be the general entry so they have uh, deposited 500,000 okay 125k each into a bank account called loyal bank account so loyal bank account is the ABC companies bank account yeah ABC companies bank account so what happened here so if you uh, go back here it is a corporate legal entity having distinct from its members so artificial person having corporate legal entity so here you think about that rule here okay so the loyal bank account has now 500,000 which is deposited by the shareholders of the company so that is an asset right that is an asset for the company the cash cash in the bank account is an asset for the company so what we will do there is loyal bank account here yeah loyal bank account so we need to debit or credit this account because there is 500,000 increased in this asset account right so go back to the shortcut assets increase or expense increase debit so debit that account right so debit that account with um a b c d okay because uh, all of them have uh, deposited totally for hundred thousand debit because we received five hundred thousand in the bank account so debit that uh, concerned bank account with five hundred thousand and credit will goes to a b c d because why uh, a has uh, given one hundred twenty five thousand to start the company he has given so now being an artificial entity okay the company owes mr a 125000 so it is a liability right it is a liability so mr uh, a's capital account need to be credited because liability is increasing here uh, company's liability is increasing here right because now the company has to pay 125000 to a and the same like the other three shareholders also to mr uh, b and mr c and to mr d so for all the uh, shareholders we need to pay 125k each which will make total 500k so uh, this is the first general entry uh, we need to pass for investing the initial capital by the shareholders so this is a first entry in the books of accounts of uh, ABC because without uh, having cash no one can start the business now the investors invested capital of 500,000 to start the business so uh, being an accountant we need to book that one in the books like this way okay using this shortcut method yeah. now uh, the accountants part is to uh, post these this entry into the ledgers and uh, then create financial statements okay now let us post these entries into the uh, 
ledger accounts and then trial balance i'm not showing here ledger because what is uh, trial balance trial balance is the total balances of total balances uh, of, uh, on a given on a given date total balances of a given date all the account balances will come in the trial balance right so let us say this is 500 i will explain to you again yeah uh, this uh, trial balance means as on a given date for example uh, trial balance as on 31st may 2023 means what all the ledger account balances the final balance debit and credit whatever it is all the ledger account balances of a company on a given date okay you uh, have already uh, studied the theories but here i am uh, uh, asking you to think practically okay which will help you a lot while doing the accounting uh, of your company yeah so here now uh, uh, we need to debit this loyal bank account with 500000 so here the loyal bank account is here which i have already uh, done this entry earlier which is debited already with 500000 yeah loyal bank account debited 500000 and then we need to credit capital accounts of a b and c and d so this is where where, where these accounts will come as this cash account will come in assets and this capital accounts will come in liabilities and capital so here this this is these are the capital accounts right so here a b c d it is already credited with 500000 so that is the posting of that entry 500 debited and 500 credited so that is the double entry system of bookkeeping so which makes zero debit and credit makes zero yeah 500,000 uh, goes to assets as cash and uh, another 500,000 goes to liabilities and capital as share capital of the shareholders so this is how it looks uh, after you post this entry this is how your tb looks trial balance 500 plus debit and 500 credit yeah these two so the tb will match so that is the double entry system now after the trial balance we need to uh, prepare the income and expenditure account income and expenses account there is no effect uh, here because we haven't done any revenue no expenses yet we have just deposited the capital so which will affects only assets and liabilities so which will affects only balance sheet right so income and expenditure there, there is no impact of that entry that particular entry there is no impact in income and expenses so directly we'll go to balance sheet balance sheet so we need to check the bank balance yeah here loyal bank account need to be debited uh, already debited with 500k so this is 500k is the bank balance of abc now 500k i have done another entry here for uh, another uh, transaction which if you remove this 500 so our cash and bank balance in the balance sheet is 500000 right see 500000 So coming back to uh, this, then we need to add ABCD's capital, which is total 500,000, which is also here as share capital. So your uh, balance sheet having an asset with cash balance of 500 and share capital of 500, which makes total assets 500 and total liabilities 500. Yeah. And now uh, we need to create the uh, statement of changes in equity we need to prepare the statement of uh, changes in equity 
yeah that that will show you just 500,000 because this is I have done uh, other entries that is why it is coming here so this is the impact in the statement of changes in equity just only share capital invested 500,000 okay then we need to prepare the cash flow that uh, we will discuss later and uh, inventory things uh, once we have uh, purchased raw materials and uh, uh, sales items we will discuss this later and the depreciation um, the simple method the fast and quick method easy method uh, I have already done an end uh, a video about this so we will discuss uh, if required we will discuss these things also later and the prepayment prepayment amortization you know as you know whatever we have paid prepaid for any services we will have to book it uh, you know on a on an amortization basis if the service is coming for one year two years we need to equally amortize that uh, particular amount into months so uh, this is required while we are doing the monthly closing of the books okay and in uae we need to close the books on a monthly basis so that is uh, uh, for now uh, actually uh, uh, our motto is to discuss the complete accounting procedure uh, as per the uae gap and uh, um, world gap yeah so uh, there is not much difference between the rest of the world uh, uh, generally accepted accounting principles also so this these are all the same uh, in uh, financial and accounting how to keep uh, your books of and account books and accounts properly for tax purpose for filing purpose so for auditing purpose okay so uh, we, we will be discussing all the calculations in detail later so just keep in mind uh, the shortcut method and uh, uh, approach uh, any entries with this method and uh, it will be very much easier for you so um, uh, wait for my uh, next video okay uh, we will be discussing about more uh, UAE based uh, and uh, um, uh, regulatory requirements and all other uh, requirements okay if you have any doubts uh, or any clarifications required just uh, comment on this video okay and if you understand and like this video just uh, please subscribe uh, the channel and uh, like the video share the video and um, let your friends know about this so uh, let us all together can uh, have a journey of this uh, practically doing accounting not theory and uh, I'm not concentrating on theories this is we are doing the practical accounting here okay thank you very much uh, and uh, uh, let us see in the next video thank you